please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update and videos in this course module we are going to understand rhcsa certification exam with various sample questions which can help you to examine or crack the rhcsa exam that is red hat certified system administration and the exam code is ex200 this certification is basically it's the performance based rhcsa exam which test your knowledge and skills in area of system administration common across a wide range of environments and deploy scenarios you must be an rhcsa to earn the rsc exam that is red hat certified engineer certification it means that if you want to be rsc first you have to crack the rscs exam so this course module is basically for the preparation of rhcs certification exam so let's have the first sample question so the first question is for the network setup so the question would be something like that you would be having some box the virtual box and the name would be like server x dot example dot com here x would be your system name it could be one it could be two three whatever any numbers suppose if you have been allotted a seat number 13 so your server name would be server 13 dot example dot com and like that way you have to configure your system so that would be mentioned in your test paper no worries so here a very simple question that is for the setup of your network you can see here they have mentioned server x dot example dot com and they have given the password as well and also they have provided the ip here ip is 172.25.x.11 x would be your system number if it is 13 so the number would be your ip would be 172.25.13.11 and your gateway also so you have to configure an ip to the system there would be an ethernet card that is already allocated to the system you have to you know configure the network interface with the following app ip and with the gateway is also mentioned and apart from that you have also defined the dns domain for the system as well so three things you have to do it first you have to give the ip second you have to give the gateway and the third is one is your domain name apart from there you have to do some more modification like you have to change the ip version 4 method from auto to manual and also connection dot auto connect by default is already true if it is not true you have to make it true so this setting is basically like suppose if you are going to reboot your system so whatever the settings you have chosen here it will be persistent like on reboot is equal to yes so all these things you have to do it so i have just given a theoretical session like what sort of the question we have and uh, how we can understand and how we can do this we'll understand in the next lecture that would be your lab session so friend that's all for this lecture and if you have time please join with me in the lab session of this question thanks for watching